Hello everyone, this is Shaitan bringing you a game from MLG Orlando, Winner's Bracket 5. The winner of this game guarantees themselves a spot in championship play. So let's get to the players. Uh, spawning in the bottom left corner as the red Zerg is Millennium Stefano. He's come off a series of impressive wins uh, in IPL 3 and then having another deep run at ESWC taking first place, I believe. And then in the top right corner is a Korean player, the Blue Terran, OGS the STC. He's widely been considered one of the strongest Terrans in Korea. He just finished his military service and is beginning to get back into the swing of things. He's actually just qualified for Code A and plays his first match fairly soon. So everything is opening fairly standard for these two. Dual Sight is a pretty good map for the Zerg. The natural is fairly easy to take. There's no real terrain features that make it bad for Zerg. So we'll see if this game proceeds as normal or if there's anything sort of odd going on. And it looks like I guess there is something odd going on. There's a barracks, one barracks being proxied and a second SCV going down. So probably two racks being proxied. There's going to be some sort of shenanigans going on. It looks like it is a 12-12 two rack, so it's going to hit a little bit earlier than a 12-14, which is the most economic two racks, but not quite as bad as an 11-11. We see here that Stefano has actually drone scouted something that not all players do. He sees that there is no uh, there is no barracks in the base. He should see the first uh, proxied racks. We'll see if the second one will uh, be found by him, but it doesn't look like it. He's looking in all the wrong places, but he knows that something is up. He knows that there is no gas taken. He can probably expect that there is a second rack somewhere, but in spite of this, he has chosen to take the quick hatchery. Uh, again, a pretty standard response, just so you can not be put too far economically behind in case the opponent decides not to pressure and transition into an economic game. So the first SCV is actually heading over. Stefano does have an overlord in front of his natural, so he should be able to see any bunkers going up if the SDC decides to do so, but it looks like he's probably going to be pulling multiple SCVs. Another two are right here. The first marine is actually heading out right now, and an SCV is getting ready to wall off the uh, ramp to the main so that no runbys will work. The first S the first bunker is going up. Uh, Stefano actually pulls two drones and kills the... Uh, SCV constructing a bunker, however, two more come to quickly take its place. The first marine has arrived, it's beginning to take out the overlord. The pool just finished, we'll see how many lings Stefano makes. He's actually going to make six, he hasn't begun constructing a queen or anything. No spine crawler is going down. I think this first bunker is going to finish, it's going to give him the sort of foothold he needs to begin bunker hopping and just um, being really, really annoying to uh, Stefano. The first the spine crawler that started to go up just got cancelled, the three marines are there. I think this is going to be game over for Stefano. The sixlings are coming out, he's going to have to control these perfectly, but the second bunker is up, the hatchery is going to be in range of this. As soon as he puts his marines in there, there's no way that they're going to die, especially with two uh, SCVs uh, repairing. The third one comes down to join, there's two more marines, four marines, three SCVs, even against the tens ten lings that Stefano has. It's not going to be enough to kill both of these bunkers. This looks pretty over for Stefano. As the SCC even has one marine coming here killing some drones. He's already lost uh, three drones. The drone count is 12 to 16. Yeah, Stefano's going to make one last ditch effort to try and kill everything, but even if he does take out this bunker, the marines can always just hop into the other one. They already transitioned. It's the SDC has killed five workers, it's down to ten drones, and the bunker isn't even going down. Neither bunker has gone down. The spine crawler tries to transfer over, but Stefano has lost all of his drones, and he says a potentially sarcastic grats as he leaves the game. 